The level two 12 bar blues is very similar to level one. The differences are in how the fifth fret is added into the riff and the way the ninth bar is played. I'll explain the ninth bar once we get there. For now, follow along with the tab. Remember to make sure to pay close attention to the rhythm and timing of these strums. It has a blues shuffle feel to it. Start by making a power chord shape on the open E string. Once again, we'll call this the E pattern. Your first finger will go on the second fret of the A string and you'll strum just the top two strings using down strums only. Strum that chord twice, and then you'll keep your first finger where it is, adding your third finger on the fourth fret of the A string. Strum that only once, and then lift your third finger and strum one more time. Those four strums will look and sound like this. Now you will reach your fourth finger over to the fifth fret. Strum that once. Then lift your fourth finger and strum the E power chord once. Then put your third finger on the fourth fret, strum that once, and then lift your third finger and strum the E power chord one more time. The second half of the bar sounds like this. Here's the whole first bar. So you'll repeat that E pattern for a total of four bars. Then move down one string playing the exact same thing for two bars. This is the A pattern. After playing that A pattern for two bars, you'll move back up one string and repeat the E pattern for two bars. And now we've made it to the ninth bar. This is where things get a little different again. This is the B pattern. In level two, you'll play the B power chord once, then add your fourth finger on the sixth fret for one strum, and then lift your fourth finger to play the B power chord one more time. You will repeat that twice in the ninth bar like this. You might find it difficult to stretch your fourth finger that far. If you're having a hard time with that, make sure your thumb is near the middle of the back of the neck and try driving your forearm forward like this. That will put more of a curve in your fretting hand fingers and give you a bit more reach. After playing that B pattern, you'll play the A pattern for one bar. And then play the E pattern for one bar. Then play the same ending as level one. Take a quick rest, then play the climbing riff, starting with the A power chord and then moving it up one fret at a time until you get to the B power chord on the second fret like this. Now you know the whole level two 12 bar blues. Here it is from start to finish.